He hires some hooker he knows to create an alibi, flies home, belays the spouse, flies back again. It's a classic, elaborate, and clever, but ultimately stupid plan. If you look at his PGA tournament record. Not bad. Six mil career earnings. Mm. For coming in second and third. You put him on the 18th tee with a big one on the line, like night follows day, he'll shank it. He's a choker. He doesn't have the nerve to kill his wife. Didn't do it. Are you suggesting we drop a prime suspect because he's never won a major? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just making a little conversation. How'd you do that? Telekinesis. <laughs> he blew on it. That is another way to do it. Mr. Jane, I have a question regarding your previous career path. Fire away. When you met with other psychics, real psychics, could they tell you were just pretending? There's no such thing as real psychics. I beg to differ. My cousin Yolanda is a psychic. Your cousin is deluded or dishonest or both? I understand you. I don't know. He's entitled to his opinion. He's wrong, though. She has power. Thank you. She can communicate with the other side. I've seen her do it myself. She let you speak with someone that's gone? Yes. Someone that you love and still miss very much? Yes. You wanted her power to be real, so it was. No. You're so sure you're right. Science don't know everything. 500 years ago, radio would have seemed like magic. Exactly. 500 years in the future, it could be totally normal to communicate with the other side. The other side. Mm -hmm. Your father's a football coach, yeah? How do you know that? It's obvious from your whole demeanor. My point is, didn't Dad always say life is like football? When that final whistle blows, the game is over. Done. There is no more. There is no other side. This is it. Lobster and bread rolls and nautical kitsch. And then, pfft, nothingness. You poor, sad man. The kingdom of God is a real place. OK, later tonight, when Rigsby asks you to come back to his hotel room, <coughs> say yes. Excuse me? I know you were planning on refusing him very curtly. First week on the job, you want to set a tone, no monkey business, but why not? Rigsby's an excellent lover, I'm sure. Tough, but fair, right? Right. The kingdom of God is a real place, Mr. Jane. And you have an immortal soul. Oh, I do so hope you're wrong. <laughs> 